Hi. Earlier this week, I had a conference call with religious leaders from across the 16th district. It was a great conversation and really a wonderful opportunity to hear about how we're all keeping the faith during these really trying times. But one of the pastors brought up a good point about how important it is to have access to our church community, even though we can't congregate in person. And he said that streaming services online was a great alternative and something his church was doing, but he pointed out that some people may not have the technology or the means to access these services. So today, I actually want to give a shout out to WLPO Radio, Starved Rock Country, for taking the suggestion of Pastor Bill Jacobson of Seatonville Community Church to broadcast his Sunday services on the air. They've been doing so for a few weeks now, and they'll air it again this Easter Sunday. This is problem solving for the good of the community, and it's another way we can bring each other together while we maintain the necessary social distancing for everyone's safety. If you know about something good happening in the community right now, I want to hear about it. So send me an email at adam.kinzinger at mail.house.gov with the subject line, Good Samaritans in Illinois 16, and I'll share as many of them as I can here on Facebook. But from distilleries like Whiskey Acres of DeKalb, Kenny Farms of Rochelle, Star Union Spirits of Peru, who've turned their operations into making that much needed hand sanitizer, all the way to the LaSalle Police Department for showing up and making a very special birthday visit to a three-year-old Viviana. These are the feel-good moments and the efforts that we need to celebrate. And I'm proud to recognize the incredible people in our community who are making a difference, large and small, and everything in between. As we observe Holy Week, let's remember that we are in it together through the dark times and the days of light ahead. Be well, be safe, and may God bless you all.